Okay, so let me see if I can figure this out. <laughs> Go here. Public. Okay, hopefully people will find us now. I don't know. If you find me, let me know. Okay, should be live. Can you see me? Oh, yay, okay. Can you see me and can you hear me? Let me know. Yay, it's working. I just went live and it was unlisted and I was like, why is nobody coming? And um, it turns out I'm just bad at the internet. Thank you so much, Marissa. That's awesome. Yay, okay, it's working. So, um, <laughs> I was supposed to like make a video today. Well, I filmed yesterday, but I was supposed to um, actually like edit and post the video today but I started editing and then I fell asleep for like three hours. So it was like too late in the day to start editing. So I decided I'll just edit and post the video tomorrow. And I thought we could just go live today and hang out for a little bit because it's daytime and we can do that because Fiona's at school. So I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Hi, Tony. Hi, Don. Yeah. And I also have all these to unbox. So I thought I might as well because I hate when I like get everything together to film and then I have to open these while I'm filming. I just feel like it takes up time. Um, let's see what the chat says. Oh my gosh, 2.40 in the morning. Well, you sound like me. I That's probably like why I fell asleep by accident. I just got like, you know when you just you lay down, you sit down for a minute and you're like, I'm just gonna sit here for just a few minutes and then I'm gonna start doing something. Well, that's what I did, except I fell asleep for three hours. <laughs> Thank you. I, I tried to uh, make it presentable for today. I noticed I feel like it's gotten like thicker, but um, like I probably should like cut it a little bit. I haven't cut it since before like all of that madness, you know, with the uh, pandemic, but um, like I don't want to cut the length. I just want to like maybe like that much because it's there's lots of split ends. I sent you an email a month or two back. I'm sorry. I... Uh, I usually like I, I'm so bad at like I'll, I'll check because I probably start it a lot of times I go into my email and I have like a bunch of emails and I look at it and I just feel like so overwhelmed so I star the ones that look important and I'm like okay I'll go back to it later when I'm more like prepared to sit down and read stuff and then I I I don't sometimes so I'm so sorry about that I'll definitely go look um, I have a coffee so one second This is my second coffee because the first one I had, um, I fell asleep and it all melted. <laughs> How are my plants doing? Um, they're okay. You're talking about plants and the enclosure. So it's like very 50, 50, like some of my plants in the enclosures are doing great. Others it's a sensitive topic, <laughs> but as for these plants, I have like so many outside that I have to bring in and I, <laughs> keep bringing like bugs in with them like so it's really been like a lot of fun like finding <laughs> like all these bugs in my plant like not like mites or anything just like weird insects that were like living in the moths lots of moths were living in my plants <laughs> I got myself a beautiful reticulated python at Tenley that's awesome are you coming to the St. Louis NARBC because I will be there and so will Richard and tarantula cribs and fang hub tarantulas. Amy will also be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very nervous, but I think it should be fun. Good, easy, live plants to keep with slings. Probably just pothos. I don't really know too much about plants. Like they're still really new to me. So I, I even like ask people like that know more than me. Like, do you think this is okay? <laughs> like, Dion told me to put the pothos in with my snapping turtle. And I was like, is it going to be, like, is it going to live? And he's like, yeah. And he shows me, like, his huge paludarium and it's, like, perfect. And I was like, oh, okay, good to know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, yeah. Okay. Sweden, hello. So, did it live? 
the pothos I'm, I'm sorry i forgot what i said but yes the pothos is living great and so is the snapping turtle he's like really livened up a lot he kind of scares me when i feed him now because he will jump out of the water to grab the worms now like i i used to have to like put the tweezers and like the worm and the water and like wiggle it for him to find it and uh, not anymore as soon as i hover over it with a worm he sees it and he's just like a real snapping turtle excited to see you guys in st louis yay that's gonna be so much fun I really want to buy a jumping spider for my first spider, but because of their lifespan so short, I'm kind of scared. Um, that's like my biggest issue right now. In fact, I talk about that in my, so I have, my next video is a jumping spider video that I'm working on. And um, I, I did talk a little bit about that. I had a string, a series of unfortunate events with the jumping spiders. I, if you haven't noticed, I kind of like toned down the jumping spider content the past like month or two because I just was having like, some, I was having a hard time. I talked about it on Patreon. Like if you follow me on Patreon, I've already like written like paragraphs, <laughs> just like explaining like what's been going on and like all that. But like, I just have a series of unfortunate events with the jumping spiders. And I was like very like conflicted on if I even want to keep like breeding them or like buy any more. Um, so yeah, I talk about that in my video. It's definitely the biggest um there's like a bird trying to <laughs> what what are they doing um you're supposed to be flying south you guys not interrupting my stream oh they're so cute though i have a birdhouse out there and it's funny because i have like a birdhouse and then i have like this giant pumpkin like halloween decoration next to the birdhouse and i thought they would all evacuate the birdhouse and be scared of it but now they're just kind of like accepting of him like they're living with him like next to it it's so funny <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I have like so many little animals that come by. Like I feel like people get annoyed because I feed like the chipmunks, the squirrels, the birds. Um I I yeah. The spiders, all the spiders. All the neighbors know though if they like have a spider like hit me up. Like we have a good thing going here. <laughs> Recently helped a snapping turtle across the highway on my way home from work. Um I had a big towel with me to protect me and them. I've never picked up one of the big snapping turtles, so <laughs> right now I'm just dealing with the little guy. Do you have any tips on keeping praying mantis? You know, man praying mantis are like the same thing with like as jumping spiders where you get attached to them and then they have very short lifespans. So <clears throat> yeah, um, I've only kept the dead leaf mantis, the ghost mantis and then like the Chinese mantis I think like the green one but um I remember the ghost mantis were like a little bit more fragile than the leaf one the dead leaf ones I really like the dead leaf ones the best I think what is the lifespan of a jumping spider it really depends um like I have um like with Chai's first sack of babies they would be a, like I don't really have many babies left at all I gave away most but like the first one they would be a year old in January or February and um like that big so I mean a couple years uh, I think but it probably depends <clears throat> hello from Queens hello live feeding no um I should probably start unboxing these though because that's what I wanted to do but yeah Hello, Tarantula Mom. What's the cheapest price you've found for C Versi color? I don't know. I um, funny enough, this the only C Versi color I have is the one I got from Tom years and years ago. It was a sling, and I didn't pay for it. My friend like did some charity thing, and um, he gave me the C Versi color out of it, which is the one I still have. Um, how big do jumping spiders get? Um, it depends on the species. I know like the Phytobus species vary in size a lot, so it's hard to say, but I think the Regius gets the biggest. Texanus gets pretty big. <clears throat> Hi, Ashley. I see you. Um, Isaiah, do you have any plans on keeping, um, a Philippine orange tarantula? I've never seen one for sale, but like, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Um, yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> first 
I remember, like, so um, Mo from Tarantula Cribs asked me last time he, like, got stock, like, what I was needing. And I noticed I only had, like, a couple of these. And I think these are maybe my favorite. Um, I know that, the, like, the sliders are really nice and everything. Um, I like how they're stackable and stuff. But, like, these just look so, like, sleek. I know he's doing, like, all clear um, treehouse and sliders and stuff now, too. So that's cool but I just really love like these I don't know why I asked for these I know I specifically had something in mind for them um like I remember this I wanted for I think my brown recluse I might use these for but like I feel like I asked something I asked for this specifically for something and I can't remember <sighs> but it's fine <laughs> oh and I do have a slider to open too I think I have more sliders in my closet that's like the problem like everything gets pushed in the closet and I don't even realize what I have sometimes it's very bad um do you have any good ideas for good starter tarantulas and by the way i love your channel um so yeah i have a lot of ideas i actually one of my first videos um i wouldn't say it went viral but like one of my very first like kind of poopy quality videos was my top five favorite tarantula beginner tarantulas and i know i did uh not carabina um salutocaudal albopilosis which at the time was brachypilma albopilosum um gramostola porteri the rose hair, curly hair, rose hair. Uh, there was a Phonopelma calcodes, I think, the Arizona blonde, <clears throat> H. chiliensis, and um, I don't remember what the fifth one was, but I've been meaning to like redo that video like in better quality, and I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I want to like change those species because there's so many good beginner species. Like my nephew, um, when I say my nephew, by the way, he's like 21, so my brothers are like and they're like late 40s and so like when I say my nephew I mean like he's like a 21 year old like responsible for an animal <laughs> but my nephew wanted a tarantula so I had Amy send him a fang hub tarantula send him a green bottle blue for his first tarantula and he is loving it he's had it for like a couple months or so now and it's like really like I think it's like one of the best beginner tarantulas and um just because they're so simple to take care of and they're like very pretty they web a lot they're always busy they're out a lot so i really feel like green bottle blues can be great for beginners especially just like watching him like work with that that being the first tarantula he works with <clears throat> but yeah where's my coffee it's gonna melt this is gonna be the second one i have that melts today how's my goody sapphire um the one i named peko <laughs> it's good um i think it's a boy though so I probably he's like this big now and he definitely looks male so I think like I'll keep him for a couple more molts and then give him to my friend who has a female and after that I don't think I have any more pokies I had a Vitata I gave to my friend for breeding I had a Regius which was uh, Regalis not Regius uh, I gave away also because he was a male so my A. Janiculata is always out and is super fun to watch. Yeah, you know, I had an AJ. I still have mine, but I, ha I got a sling. I remember it was like my first, like more advanced, you know, um, really cool species. I mean, I still, you know, I still have mine and enjoy it. Um, yeah. Hey, Rusty, what is up? You know what? There was somebody else who stole your name. I knew it wasn't you, but their name was Rusty Shackelford, and they commented on my video, and it was kind of, like, icky, like, but um, I looked at it, and I was like, wait, that's not the Rusty Shackelford that usually comments on my videos. Like, who is this imposter? Like, so now I don't even know, like, I don't even know who you are now. <laughs> no, but it was weird. I knew it wasn't you because they were using, like, a picture of Rusty Shackelford and, like, yeah, I think it was, like, spelled a little different. <laughs> hey, Chloe. Hey, Jay. Um, Herman. How is Salem? Salem is great. I feel like, yeah, I just posted pictures of Salem, um, like, last week, I think, on a pumpkin. I took him out. He was actually very well-behaved. I was surprised. <laughs> he was, he's not the most patient tarantula ever, but he was very well-behaved that day, and I made a TikTok. Marcus. Hello. How am I? Um, I am good, and I, I just, like, I'm like, uh, no, I was reading another comment while I was answering that. I'm fine. <laughs> um, the other comment I was reading was asking, if I don't, if you don't mind me asking how much 
Does it cost to keep up with the tarantula's feeding enclosures? I have no idea. I don't even think I want to know. Um, the thing is, is that <laughs> it's like the feeding isn't really the upkeep. And the enclosures, um, tarantula cribs, I'm an affiliate. Whoa. I'm an affiliate with tarantula cribs. So that has helped a lot, like a lot. So definitely really appreciate uh, working with them. But as for like, su like substrate is expensive. Um, how do you build the confidence to finally start filming and posting YouTube videos? I've wanted to for a long time, but I'm always afraid no one will watch the videos. It takes time. Um, it's like a roller coaster. Like I am very fortunate that at the time that I started making, I somehow managed to meet other people in the community i feel like i grew alongside a lot of other channels at the same time like a lot of other people were kind of starting at the same time so that really helped um <clears throat> but you just have to keep posting like i see some smaller channels that i've been watching them grow more and more and like the thing they all have in common is just like posting and posting and you just get better at it like <laughs> you always you end up getting better at it over time but it definitely feels weird um but I've been doing this for like four years now, I think, like three or four years. I think I started in 2018, like late 2018. So yeah, 18, 19, 20, 20. So like three-ish. Um, consistency is key, that is true. You are my comfort creator. I know exactly what you mean by that. <laughs> That's funny. Um, are you going to the Show Me Snakes this weekend? Is it this weekend? I don't know, because there's really nothing that I need specifically. Um, and I also don't think I could get a babysitter, but I might, I don't know. Working my way up to an OBT, what tea would you recommend as a stepping stone? Are there any with similar attitude, but aren't as fast or bolty? Um, probably any Ephibopa species would be good, I think. I, I mean, that was like my first, like, I, I guess Acanthus scaria geniculata was the first one that I had with like an actual attitude. And, but I don't feel like they're as bolty as the E. marinas, the skeleton tarantulas. Um, how is my skeleton tea? Great. Um, webbing up the enclosure, looking awesome. So I'll show you guys that at the end of the month, like I had mentioned. Um, I started watching you back in early to mid 2020. Loved your videos ever since. Thank you. Um, look how cute this is. I think I'm going to use this for my brown recluse. I have, um, a, a big female that I caught <laughs> inside <laughs> that I'm decided to keep. Um, you act very responsibly, very sweet and also funny. Um, <laughs> many to whom I show your videos lose more and more of their fear of spiders. Thank you. I, um, I'm trying to like not, I, and I even said this in my video yesterday. I, I used to like edit out like all the like stutters or like, um, bad jokes and stuff but like lately I've just kind of been leaving them in because I'm like I need to stop like editing out my personality like I should just like not worry about being like hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna talk about tarantulas like I need to like not be so worried about what people think and I think I've I've really kind of started to get past that like I feel like I had a big confidence boost like somewhere like last year like during all of this, just like focusing on YouTube, I feel like I definitely just like had this weird confidence boost, which um, there's days I don't have it, but <laughs> yeah. What size hide opening would you recommend for a G Polka piece? You know, I have an adult female and the only thing I can get her to fit in, cause she's like huge, um, is a, a, a plumbing pipe, like from like Lowe's or something. Just like a big um, like pipe that you would put under the sink. <laughs> um, that works. Oh, no, wait, that's in my Bracky Pelma Smithies enclosure. I had one for my Grandma Stole Poker Piece also, but I ended up replacing it with cork. Um, good morning from the UK. Good morning. How is it? I'm just um, trying not to cut myself on stream, um, but as we all know, I'm not the best with sharp objects. I'm just kind of like very clumsy, I feel like. <laughs> obviously after almost dropping that cork on my on bruja which she's doing great don't worry um did you get to watch exotic slayer's latest vid still a mystery how that caterpillar got into the TA's enclosure no sounds like a doozy though i'll definitely check it out at some point i feel like lately i've been like very behind on tarantula content because <laughs> all i do is watch like the same like 
and music videos I feel like that's like what YouTube has become to me now is just watching music videos and um yeah <laughs> that's it. I love your spooky top thank you I got it from Shein I'll show you it's a sweater isn't it so cute like um I ordered like a bunch from Shein and I feel like a lot of it was like like it was all pretty much Halloween but I feel like a lot of it like just didn't fit me like that great but this top is like super cute I love it I'm probably gonna live in it a lot and I like how slouch slouchy it is like I like how this one's oversized but the others kind of look like awkward on me like I got some overalls and it's like so big on the side and it has like mushrooms on it and it's so cute but I don't think it's gonna work but anyway you don't care um <laughs> another one of these what am I gonna use these for you know what I think I'll I'll use yes I will probably use these for the recluse because I want to rehouse the two Chilean recluse I have a male and female I want to rehouse them from the vials into something bigger because the female molted already and she's bigger but I'm glad she molted because that means she's not gravid which makes me more comfortable putting her in an enclosure with ventilation anyway um but yeah I want to I want to rehouse them into something bigger so I think I'll do the this size would probably be good because I and I have three so I have well I have three of these enclosures and I have three recluse two are the Chilean and one's the brown recluse so I think these are all the same size. It'll bother me. Like they all have to be the same size for the, or it's just not going to work. <laughs> hey cat, I caught it live. I now have six tarantulas and one jumping spider. Awesome. Happy Halloween, Chloe. I have a gargoyle gecko and I want to get a jumping spider. I got this little tall tank. Awesome. Um, gargoyle geckos are so cool. Aren't they like the all black dark ones? Um, cause I remember when I got Ringo and I started like looking into the world of reptiles, I saw those and I was like, oh, I want one so bad, but they were expensive. I feel like they were. Rehousing any tarantulas today? No, today I'm just going to do, I think I'm just going to do this live, open these, have them ready for my next video, which will probably be rehousing the recluse. Um, well, after the video that I have to edit, that should have gone up today, but it didn't because I fell asleep. <laughs> Um, funny story, my green bottle blue bolted out of its enclosure this week thinking it needs a new space. Should I get a Cribs treehouse or a cube? You know, it's funny. I think that, um, I, I, I've seen Mo post his, he has a green bottle blue and a treehouse. Um, you could do that. That, that would be fine. I do like the cubes though. I would probably do a cube, but both would work fine. Yay. Uh-oh, I don't think they're all... Oh, no! I think these are the only two of this size I have. I read that in the U.S. There is a, time, a huge migration of tarantulas right now. Is it legal to grab a tarantula, a Kyle Cody's, where there are law regulations? I don't know for all states, but in uh, Missouri, um, like, tarantulas are not written in the... Um, from what I've read, okay, this is not legal advice, but from what I've read of the fish and wildlife thing, it, there is no mention of invertebrates and like saying that you can't collect them or needing like a license. Like for, you know, the snapping turtle, we needed a fishing license, which Eric, you know, fortunately has. Um, but like there's other like permits and stuff you would need for other animals. For like toads, you don't need any sort of like license or anything like that but like yeah I don't know for like I think it's Colorado that has the big migration I have I'm not familiar with their like laws at all so I don't know um but from what I do know invertebrates are usually not like factored in um a lot of laws which is a benefit but also it's not like it's <laughs> I have opinions on all of that <laughs> um well, how fast does Phytopus regius grow? I mean, pretty fast for like a spider, like compared to like a tarantula, very fast. But I'd say like the first year it takes them to reach adulthood, maybe a little bit more. Um, depends. Hello from Germany. Hello. Some national parks and state parks and wildlife areas have their own laws for inverts. Um, I had trouble finding laws for inverts outside of that as well. Yeah, that's like a very good point. Like, um, you really, like there's, um, I forget what it's called, but there's like a reserve kind of
kind of nearby and it's like explicitly says you cannot take animals from them um, but it does not stop people from poaching them so that's really disheartening <laughs> um, yeah we need to meet your daughter see YouTube doesn't really like it when um, when minors are in videos like you have to like define it and stuff so like I'm sure she would love to like do a feeding video or something but I need to look more into it because I don't want to like have problems with YouTube but what laws are supposed to stop poaching yeah I know right <laughs> um Kat how did you get over your fear of spiders I didn't <laughs> no um like I feel like it's still a work in progress, but catching and keeping a jumping spider was probably the best thing that that helped me and Googling about them. Um, I went to, I went with my daughter to see Halloween Kills. There's a guy that was dressed up like Michael Myers. His seat was next to my daughter. It was awesome. The movie was boring. I have not heard of that. We did just watch the new Adams Family movie though here, you, you know, like, Jeez, these dogs. <laughs> They're always... You got it? Okay. Um, the new Adams Family movie is so cute, though. I loved the first one, but yeah. I don't think I'm going to open these ones because they're just so nicely packed and I don't want to, like, scratch them. But yeah, okay, so I got these two. And then these three... And these are all the cubes. I really like these cubes. They look so good. Oh, just drop it. And then um, this slider. I think I have more, but I'm not sure. I think I do. And then I just have these two little ones that I'm not opening. But yeah, I think I'll use these for the recluse. Maybe I wanted them all to be the same though. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I was interested to get a tarantula crib, but shipping to Germany is insane. Yeah, I know. Like, he's definitely, I feel like, been working or, like, trying to figure out how all of that would work. But if there's, like, no simple answer for, like, international shipping, which is kind of a bummer because I know a lot of you guys really want some. <laughs> do arboreal teas go down to the ground to molt or do they stay up where they usually hang out? They typically will web up, like, a corner <laughs> and tarantula cribs just text me and said I have more six inch cubes okay well I'm guessing you're watching so if you're watching um I want to do recluse in these but I'm just like one short is that what this is I don't know if that's six inch though I don't know <laughs> but um what was I saying oh yeah if it's arboreal it'll molt like up in the like trees so um I haven't had <laughs> Stop texting. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, tarantula cribs needs a reseller in Europe. Somebody is talking to you, Mo, in the chat. <laughs> Love seeing you on Facebook. You are so creative. Thank you. I'm trying to think of what I did that was creatively. Well, I guess I'm a creator, <laughs> so that's a dumb question. I was thinking more like art because I used to do like um, like a ton of art, like figure drawing. I loved figure drawing. I still like wish that I was in college just for figure drawing because like, okay, so it was like, obviously it was like all nude figure drawing and it would be like the model in the middle and then it'd be like all people around it and you would like draw them. Um, and like, it was just like a great way to like learn like light and like um, proportion was like a big thing. And, and that was like just the best, like the, the classes themselves. I still talk to the instructor um, but he moved to Colorado, but we still talk all the time. Like he's like probably one of the only people I talk to still from college. He was retired. So yeah, but like, um, now he lives on like a barn in Colorado and like, he sends me like pictures of like these horses that, and like he paints like these crazy Colorado sunsets and mountains and stuff. And I'm just like, rub it in. Like how, how cool are you? Like just, I'm still here in St. Louis proportion is key dude <laughs> no but like we um we there was like this method like he would he taught us where we had like a wooden doll and we would like tape it to like a pencil and like when you were like trying to like say like the arm was like going this way you'd hold the wooden doll up to it and like kind of, and then you'd like take the wooden doll and you'd take it down to your paper and then you would like take it in that same direction and it was like 
I would have never thought about that like without his class it was definitely the best drawing class I ever took I took it I think I took it twice like the first and second I think I might have taken the third or I don't remember my major was photography though so like when I took classes like that those were like just for fun just for like more credits or whatever but like um good times good times anyway that was definitely off topic sorry about that <laughs> I'm just like Oh, it's two o'clock. Okay. I, I probably have like 20 more minutes that I can stay on, but then I have to go get Fiona from school. How are your fishes? Um, they, they're fine. A lot of puffer. I did lose a lot of puffers though. I think just from age. Um, I still have my giant bristle nose Pleco though. Like he's fine. I think I might redo the tank once I lose the rest of my puffers. I haven't been like getting any more or anything. So like I might redo it just because like I'm not happy with the way the tank looks anymore, to be honest. That's why I don't really show it that much. It's like, um, it's just kind of a mess. There's live plants in there that probably need to like be clipped too. Um, do you know any Canadian sellers looking for a jumping spider? Um, Tarantula Canada. I feel like that's, what, ask Dion, Reptiliatus, ask him. But I think he has mentioned Tarantula Canada a lot, but I don't know. LOL, you say like, like, I did so many more times I do the same sorry I'm working on it <laughs> I'll try not to uh, do you know snake discovery and what do you think of their work and having a reptile store now I do not know them personally um but I Emily I believe her name is and Ed they seem very nice uh, it's funny because Fiona watches their content all the time like I will just be in another room and then I'll hear them like opening uh, snake eggs. And that's like Fiona's like jam. She loves snake egg opening videos. So I don't really watch Snake Discovery that much, um, but um, Fiona loves them. Like, it's so funny. <laughs> she doesn't even watch my content. No, no, I'm just saying I do it too. The like thing, yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I am aware, <laughs> but I can't help it. <laughs> Do tarantula cribs ship to the UK? I think that if you pay shipping, they will, but shipping is expensive from here. I wouldn't watch my mom's content either, lol. Dude, it's so true though. She like, she watches Diana a little bit too, but she's more into like, I feel like snake discovery, like she, they, they're very like upbeat and like they like talk like very excited you know what I mean like they're always just like so happy and excited and I feel like that attracts like a younger audience sometimes when you're like very upbeat and you're like oh my goodness this egg like it gets Fiona's attention and I feel like it holds her attention better than than I do <laughs> um would you get an M Balfouri either single or multiple I would like a female um M Balfouri I don't really want a communal when she gets older, she will laugh at your content. Probably. I mean, if she doesn't already. But I think she likes that I do this. Like, I feel like, I mean, it's just normal to her at this point. But I feel like she does like that I have all these animals and, and do this. She's a very big animal person, too. So, <laughs> the, it's funny, though. Her favorite animal, I think, is Iggy the hamster. But they're on opposite schedules. So like only time she really gets to see Iggy because she goes to bed early before Iggy wakes up is in the morning before school. So like Iggy was out this morning at like 6 a.m. And that's when she gets to see her when Iggy's out drinking water and stuff. Um, <clears throat> what's the largest size crib, tarantula cribs? I think it's 12 inches, but I'm not sure, <laughs> but that for sale, they have larger ones. I just don't think they're for sale yet, or I don't know if they're going to sell them. Just don't listen to me. <laughs> um, hey cat, I'm a big fan. I'm going to put, I'm going to get jumping spider soon. That's a good idea. I think he might like my next video. I got a new fit of his species. So kind of by accident. Um, I'm a little afraid of tomorrow. I'll get my second kilo brackies. I don't even have one kilo brackies, so have fun with that. Not because I don't want to. There's so many species that I just don't have that I've never had, and I feel like they're common species that everybody has, but I feel like I don't really have... I mean, I have a lot of tarantulas, like, let's be real, but they're the very, like, a very specific kind. Like, if it's not like a chunky little new world species I typically stray 
away from it just because I really have a specific kind of tarantula that I like. <laughs> Is that what the photos on Instagram are from? I don't know what, um, oh yes, yes. <laughs> yes, the, the new fit of his species. Yes, that is the new one that I just, um, actually Fiona found it. It was like walking across our wall and I was like, is that like one of my babies that escaped? And um, no, it's a different fit of his species. I, I was pretty stumped. In fact, when I filmed the video yesterday, I said in the video, I didn't know what species it was, but oh, hi Richard. <laughs> bestie, bestie Richard, I will read your message now. Can I read them on stream? No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, I, yeah, I didn't know what species it was when I found it. And I asked Tom Patterson and I said, do you know what species this is? Because the only Phytopus species we have in Missouri, I thought was the Phytopus audax, which is an all black one and um, with the green. And he was like, honestly, I don't know. They all look the same. It could have been a baby that got out. And I was like, no, like it, it definitely doesn't look like a regia. So I started like Googling Phytopus species, other Phytopus species in Missouri. I found out there's more than just the adox and it was this canopy jumping spider. Um, I'm debating on going from Atlanta to St. Louis just to meet you and Richard at the reptile show. I hope you, I hope you can make the trip. If you can't, I'm, I mean, you know, I'll be at future ones, but it is definitely special that Richard and I are going to be there at the same time because he is not from here. Did you make a video a few months back about that? No, I did not, Richard. How dare you confuse me for Petco when I'm way cooler confusing my content for Petco's. Actually, I probably shouldn't shut this so I know what's going on. Um, but yeah, we can probably stay on for like 10 more minutes. <clears throat> She means I never leave my house. I mean, who? I don't really either. Yesterday, it was like a huge adventure making myself go to the bank. So that was fun. <clears throat> UK, that'd be great. I'm in the UK. Someday, that would be like such a big trip. I don't even have like a passport or anything. I've never left the country. So when's the reptile show? I am just outside of Chicago, November 13th and 14th in St. Louis. It's the NARBC show, and Richard and I, uh, tarant the Tarantula Collective and I, will be there at the Tarantula Cribs booth um, doing a meet and greet and stuff. So I'll have like more specific times and stuff as we get closer. Ash, do Tarantula Cribs ship to countries out of America? Yes, but shipping is really expensive because it's coming from here. So I think they're like trying to figure that out. <clears throat> tarantula Cat slash Collective World Tour. No, it's the tarantula crib tarantula cat cribs collective tarantula cat cribs collective hey matt welcome oh you have a wrench and richard doesn't you could mute richard if i asked you to i'm just kidding <laughs> don't don't <laughs> um tarantula because thank you cat to answer everyone's question we are working on cheaper shipping solutions but it's still costly to ship large boxes overseas. Thank you for the super chat. You guys can ask him more questions if he is. <laughs> Just kidding. Richard, when are you coming to the UK, you and Kat? I don't know. Things are still kind of weird. Hey Kat, you completely changed my blood freezing fear of spiders into a growing fascination. Yay! That's awesome, Rose. Um local pet store or Repticon for buying crested geckos and green bottle blue. I don't really know that much, but I do have a friend that breeds and sells crested geckos. They are celestri some celestial geckos. Check out Tyler Ruggie. Tyler Ruggie and Maddie Smith, they have a business and they breed really cool looking ones. I would definitely order from them if I was in the crested gecko uh, market right now, but I'm not. <laughs> I just have Rango and I, I don't have any plans for any more geckos other than him. Cat, why are there a lot more tarantula shows in the Midwest? I feel like because a lot of the reason I feel like is because Mickey Meyer is local here and Mickey Meyer is the one who make who does the show me snake shows and he's recently like branched out into like surrounding areas and like so there's just like a ton of 
show me snake shows all the time around this area and then like out into like wisconsin i know he just did a show in <laughs> everyone come to nra <laughs> you see st louis thank you thank you um but i feel like he really expanded that out and like made them more um what's the word i'm looking for were they like attainable i don't know english i don't know i use the medium i think cat does too if that if you're asking about what size for a jumping spider? I use the medium treehouse, except I didn't in the video I post tomorrow, as long as I finish editing and don't fall asleep for three hours again. I can't believe I did that. Like, actually I kind of did because I, I woke up for a minute and I was like, Sh oh my God, like what time is it? Like what day is it? And then um, I was like, I'll post it tomorrow. And I just went back to sleep. Like I, I've tried though, I'm, I'm trying to like get it done by tomorrow, I should. I just don't want to rush because I hate when I like I'm supposed to post on a day and I'm not done editing it and it's just like doesn't turn out the way I want it to. Are you excited about the new Animal Crossing update? Yes, like my Nintendo is right there. I'm getting ready for that new update and um, then that's going to be a huge distraction. <laughs> Tarantula Cat Cribs Collective World Tour. Yay! Thank you, Richard. <laughs> I feel like Richard and Mo are like funding this whole stream right now. Thank you guys. <laughs> um, I'm scared of my new age and Nikolata. They're not too bad. Like, I guess when they get bigger, they are though. <laughs> but like as slings, they're not. Another rate your viewers and closure planned. I'm, I definitely am not opposed to it. The only thing is, is that now, like I think last time I was able to react to every single person's photograph that sent me like submitted pictures and if I do another reacting like video like that I'm not going to be able to react to everybody's and that just makes me feel really bad because I don't want to like make anybody fe like feel left out so I would just like feel really bad about it so I if I did it I'd have to do it in like multiple parts and I, then I, at that point I feel like it gets repetitive and people get bored so <sighs> I'm probably overthinking that aren't I <clears throat> Hot sauce challenge, yeah, with my acid reflex, that sounds like a fabulous idea. Um, no, but I was thinking, it's funny, have you guys ever heard of that one chip challenge where it's like the really spicy, um, like Carolina Reaper chip or something? Gummy worm or horn worm? Gummy worm, Lisa, thank you. Um, but the one chip challenge, I was thinking when Richard's here, maybe I should get one and like me, him, and like maybe Mo could like do the one chip challenge, like. I don't know if we do it like on a stream or something. I don't know. But it was just like an idea I had. But then I was kind of like, I don't know. Because that the bomb hot sauce, like, oh my God, it burned so bad. Like, it wasn't like the actual, I guess it was really spicy. But like the after effects, like just like feeling it like burn inside of you, like long after you ate it. Not a, I, not a fan. Like, I love hot sauce, but not a fan. Um, and yeah, Richard, yes. <laughs> So glad to see the hobby with so much support compared to years ago. Keep up the amazing content. Thank you so much for that. Um, Richard, I will bring the Tums and Pepto-Bismol. I don't know if we can mix Tums and Pepto at the same time. I feel like it, it's fine, probably. <laughs> but listen, just think about it. The, that's what the people... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Richard, the, the more you push back on the spicy food thing, the more I think people are going to say, let's do it. So, um, need a petition to Kat and Richard on hot ones. I feel like Richard might be a little soft if he's afraid of the one chip challenge. Um, it's fine. I have watermelon flavored Tums. They are quite nice. Just think about it. Okay, buddy. You and Richard are the reason I'm in the hobby. That's awesome. But the question is, do you say gummy worms or horn worms? Definitely let Richard know if you say gummy worms. If you say horn worms, just don't even don't even let us know. We don't want to know. <laughs> gummy worms and all the spicy food. That's right. <clears throat> Am I the only one that wants to see Richard dressed as tarantula cat? I think I want that too. So, <laughs> yes, Rusty, team gummy worm. Gummy worms. That's right. Tell tell him. Ah, Candace. Shh, no, 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 no. The gummy worms. <laughs> Richard, read all of those. If you're here, read all those comments. I think, uh, thank you. I think we've, we've said it. Everyone says horn words, do they not? 
When do you, since when do you want to be like everyone? That's the question. Tomato flavored gummy worms. Huh, gross. <laughs> I want to screenshot that. That's so funny. <laughs> the emojis that Richard put. Yeah, that's everything. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Well, you guys told him. Jeez, I almost feel bad. <laughs> no hornworms, gummy worms. I have some really big gummy worms in my bedroom. I don't know what I'm going to do with them because they got huge. <sighs> you, um, what a... What about horned gummy worms? No, there are no compromises here. No compromises. Um, unicorn worms. That's definitely unique. Oh, my phone just told me it's going to die soon. 20% though. <clears throat> How's Zelda? She's good. I wanted to put her in that feeding video that I just did with... Um, making fun of Richard, but she, I literally just fed her like two huge hornworms. So there was like, I wasn't going to overfeed her just to feature it, her in it, but I wanted to. Narwhal worms. I like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Richard. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to get off here unless there's any last minute questions because I need to go get my little kindergartner from school. Mr. Creepy Crawlers, if you say gummy hornworms, everyone wins. No, we do not want everyone to win. We want one winner and we want that winner to be gummy worms. <laughs> um, tell Fiona we said hi, I will for sure let her know. <laughs> Smithy or, Herm or Hermione, Hermione, <laughs> Hamori, um, both. I like your glasses. Thank you. Um, these are actually like $10 glasses from Zenny. Um, why are you so mean to me? <laughs> Richard, I feel like Richard and I have like this like old beef that was never really like <laughs> solved. Like we were just kind of like, let's be civil and like, let's be friends. And we never resolved that old beef so now we're just mean to each other <laughs> i'm sorry uh, i just i don't know how to go about that diplomatically <laughs> um i have a question for you and richard i own a pet store in colorado and was wondering if we can make a deal to get you all's merch in my store if i could figure it out i just use teespring right now because i cannot hold stock i cannot do it myself so I use Teespring, which is not my favorite because shipping is not the best or most affordable, which kind of stinks. Um, <clears throat> but one day maybe. <laughs> How is your bird eater? He, she, she's good. Zelda's good. Um, yeah. I got to stick to gummy horn worms. No. Gummy worms. Gummy worms. That's it. <laughs> All right, so as much fun as I'm having, I really do need to go, <laughs> um, but it was a lot of fun. I'm glad I accidentally slept instead of edited today, so then we did this. Um, definitely should do it again soon, so yeah. Awesome stream. Thanks, Richard. I'm sorry you, you were picked on a little bit, but you probably deserved it. I don't know. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Have a good day, um, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Have a good Wednesday, everybody. I should I should edit my video and post it tomorrow as long as I don't get distracted. I mean, I will get distracted, but as long as I don't get... I'm... Okay, bye. <laughs>